Hi fellow travellers, uh, I'd like to show you base building in Blender. So I'm in game because first thing we have to do is uh, plonk down a base computer. There we go. Base computer down, claim the area. If you uh, notice, I've sort of picked the semi-flat area. It's quite flattish, apart from the you know, obviously hills around it. But all intents and purposes, base computer is there. Now in Blender, you'll get your base computer, and. Um, you can't really see where it's orientated so if you get a flag or a light or anything anything that's uh, easily grabbable I'll get a flag this is the front of my base computer so flag there so we know which way the base computer is orientated so we know where stuff's going to end up in comparison to where everything is so mostly on the right of my computer is the open space you can go round and place markers see where the edge of the flat ground is or a marker up there so you know where the top of the hill is because you can't see the topography in blender you just see a flat screen so that's that that's that that's that let's save again and we're saved so we'll exit that yep thank you very much All right, game saved now we want to uh, open the save file in the save editor I've showed you before where to get the save editors from um, but if we put in get fungus there's a github page go fungus github page where you can get the latest version just click it to download and run that and uh, you will get this I need to reload my saving because it was already loaded so once it does that that's done right now we want to go to edit raw json uh, I would suggest you back up your save files first if you know where they are because messing around in here can be dangerous so we want this is all the information for the game we want player state data this first one click on the plus and we'll open it up and we want to scroll all the way down to play and persistent player bases and click the plus and open that this will be all your bases and some other people's that base that I just put down should be this one base 65 and I didn't name it because I'm stupid but yep it is it's base 65 because um, the owner is me Obi-Wan and I think you'll find base 66 is that one yep no I know it's I know it's base 65 alright so in there click on the number 
you don't have to expand it right click on number you get all the information for that base then in here so we're going to select all of this which is controller A select all of that control C to copy it open up blender blender is available for free in steam um, you will need to go to github and search for the base builder app if you just do a google search for base no man's sky base builder github you can get it from there or you can get it from nexus mods download the latest version and install it all these the requirements what you need so you need the latest build release of base builder you need uh, no man's sky save editor which is a link there for um, i don't know which one that takes you to but i use the goat fungus it's easier to get through from the github blender you can download it from blender.org if you don't have steam or use steam you need python so install that and you need this bpy external add-on so get that and then there are installation videos so it tells you how exactly what to do all in these videos it's quite simple I did it it must be simple so um, once you've done that and you've got it into your blender app it'll appear on the side here no man's sky all these little lovely tools got all your base parts down here there is a visual thing of looking at it but this is easy enough for the minute and this is your working window in blender there are shortcuts and all sorts and it's complicated and I don't know them all <laughs> but I'm still learning so you can learn with me um, so right we had this we copied this so we want to import now from the the um, clipboard we will import that base so there's our flag and there's our base computer notice so we know the orientation so all the space was this side so you've got all this lovely stuff down here all sorts of bits and bobs it's all got a the, the uh, explanation header you've got deployable technology with your fireworks your base computer you can add another one if you want geo bays nomad geo bays all your decorations you'll find lots of stuff in here it's all here farming freighter all the freighter parts furnishings large structures Right now this is uh, these are my favourite parts. So we've got a cylindrical room. It will put it smack bang in the middle. So um, we can move that, and we know from the base computer and the flag that there's more room over this side. So there we go, one bit there, and we want attached to that. Um, corridor. Where's the corridor? L shaped corridor. Glass roofed corridor, there you go. If we go to top view, you can see it added in. Added in there. If you want to move it, to any of the snap points <coughs> so you can go in any direction you like you can use this next button here and snap if you decide to move it and it's like oh no now how do I get it snapped back you hold click the item you want if you click the item you want to snap first and then click the item you want to snap it to with shift held and then click snap push puts it back so that's that we 
as you add another room. Cylindrical room, wash, there you go. Now there is a way to get inside these and put in decorations, but it's, um, I think it's tiddle and shift. Tiddle and shift and you can fly around and get inside the parts to um, and then tiddle and shift and tiddle to change it back or right click and then you get back to your your thing so there's that and power we look for power where's power 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 lights power and industry so batteries and that battery put yourself right inside the middle there you see that We don't want it there. Puts it over there. And we can move it. So we'll have a battery there. And you can duplicate that just by clicking on the duplicate icon. And it puts it over the top of it. Duplicate. Duplicate. So three batteries. And then we want solar panel one solar panel two solar panels three solar panels and if we select all of them we go power and logic go connect connect them all up so if we select that Hold shift, select that battery, hit connect. See, it's to put a power cable. That's power, that's our base. Simple base, job done. Now, to get it back into the game, you click export. Don't forget to save up here, file, save. I won't save it because I don't need to. Um, Alright, so we click export. You can see click A, select everything if you like and then if you're a bit worried about it then click export then you come back into here into your save editor make sure it's all highlighted still and you click control and V on your keyboard and that will paste all that data into there just click on a different thing and it asks you if you want to save the changes because you've just changed it so click yes Close that. Don't forget to save the changes here as well. That's that. So that's saved. That's saved. Come out of that. Drop that down. Start up No Man's Sky. And uh, I'll be back when it loads. When you're back in the game. You can um, load up your save where it was. Sometimes it might look different. It might have like a couple of squiggly speech marks or something. But don't worry. Just load it up. And um, once it's loaded, I'll come back. So here we are, back in the game, here's our flag, here's our base computer, there's our batteries, and there's our buildings. I didn't put doors or nothing on in there, the, even though you saw doors. They're just placeholders, um, so it looks like they have doors on them, but they don't. So you have to all like in the game, you still have to apply the doors and and stuff. Some things I find easier to put in the game. Some things I find easier to 
building blender but so that's what it looks like once you get in the game exactly what it looked like back in blender and don't forget to upload <coughs> once you once you're back in the good thing as well with blender is if I wanted this bigger you can stretch it in each direction but the game doesn't like when you change the actual shape of things it doesn't mind you enlarging them or as such but there you go I can make it that big or I can make it that big so you just you can change it like this obviously too big and you won't be able to connect the power connectors and same with too small but um yeah you can enlarge stuff and that is also you can do some right fancy things I've got some saved bases uh, like the community planet so this is the uh, obviously the base of the, the community planet don't forget there's a, a trade station sat underneath all of this so you have to work out where the trade station is and build around it but yeah that is the trade station base we have minus the trade station because it doesn't obviously pull that into the game you see the you can recolor all the parts if I click this piece of wood here and change it to uh, green you can still change all the colours and and everything and um, play with uh, freighter parts let's find the freighter so this one would be the a phantom planet that Ian Nichols found for me um, and this is all freighter parts used on the base remember the one with the big gun there's the gun and you notice the way that the corridors are showing all straight but in game they all line up so you have to watch with some parts what you do and where they're placed these stairs I haven't worked out how they connect up yet in Blender but um, they appear in the game but they've got gaps in and bars on the barriers so I'm not sure because I haven't worked that out yet and getting these doors lined up is a complete nightmare but because you can't place them in the game because you're on a planet you have to do that in Blender but um, it's all fun uh, so basically yeah as long as you uh, don't forget to save your stuff use the import and export export back to the save editor import from the save editor but you have to copy and paste your stuff first don't forget that and um, basically build away have fun um, I hope you found the video helpful and uh, see you next time